Assalamualaikum. This is Imam Rafiq. You are watching the Concept Academy by Idea Solution, and this is part two of VHS tutorial. In the previous video, we have discussed about the introduction to VHS, that what requirements are there to learn the development on VHS, and what tools we need to install before doing anything in related to React. So uh, if you are new to this series, then I recommend you to watch the previous part that was VHS tutorial part. Okay, this video, in the previous video first, we had uh, download this editor that was Visual Code and we had uh, downloaded the node, uh, latest node version that is 12.16. Uh, one I guess so let's check it okay uh, okay when I write node minus V it's give me the version of node that means node is installed on my PC so I just need to create my first react app okay so before creating any react app you need to uh, write a command if a uh, uh, very first time actually this uh, sets a global variable for you so you need to write this command first I already have set this command on my PC so I think I do not uh, have to write this command again so uh, if uh, you have uh, you are new to this and you don't know uh, then you have to uh, remember this command you need to uh, run this command first okay first uh, what you need to do suppose you are uh, you have successfully installed node JS or first time on your PC you have installed visual code and you need to go to the CMD right CMD okay and write this command npm install minus g create dash react dash app okay. Uh, okay. I'm showing this command to you on notepad that uh, would be the command is npm install minus g create dash react sorry dash app okay this is the command you need to run on your pc on the first time okay i have run this command when you run this command you will get uh, this uh, message that known module loading index.js package 99 package added uh, from 47 contributor. contributor actually it is a boilerplate on the internet so what it does it this command download all the required package from the internet okay now we don't have to do so much effort for creating our first react app we don't have to make any folder structure we don't have to set any working directory we'll just uh, make a working directory uh, we'll make a folder first like i'm willing to work on the desktop so this is first react app i will i will go to this directory and we'll open the cmd here okay as you can see i am in the C user server desktop and in the desktop we I have created the folder. So in this folder I need to write this command to create, create dash react dash app. Okay, as you know that uh, I recently uh, set this uh, command globally. So I now I can make use of it. So you need to write create dash react dash app and then after space you need to type the uh, project name whatever you are willing to the project name you can use anything so I am creating it first react app and press enter and then you need to wait for a while okay, you cannot create a new project because npm naming restriction name cannot uh, no longer capital letters okay no. there is some kind of validation that you cannot use capital letter as I have used uh, I was willing to make it capitalized uh, use camel letter but it is not recommended 
by the standard so I'll remove and I write this first react app and press enter okay by the experience and uh, on the runtime we learn something very new in common that uh, we cannot use capital letters while creating project okay now you can see it is downloading it will create our first react app okay right now uh, we have okay you can see there was no folder this uh, directory was empty now there is a folder name as first react app and here it's a package tradition after a few minutes when it the process is completed i'll get the all the complete directory for uh, running the react app Okay guys, when it is done, then it will show this message. Okay. Uh, in the last, it uh, will writing happy okay. Okay. For uh, right now, we don't have to write any code. We'll just start the app because it has already set the working directory. It has already set the folder structures and few files that are required to develop a React JS app. So we'll just see. Uh, the first uh, view what uh, what default template is containing so for running the react app we have a command that uh, should write npm start okay uh, remember this command for running uh, react app you have to <coughs> run this command react npm start so when i okay showing me some kind of error okay because uh, okay okay fine I, I was not in the working directory because uh, the working directory is uh, I need to close this and basically my CMD was here okay now I need to go to the working directory okay now you can see there are the many folders which was not present here so all these uh, folders were and structures were downloaded from the internet and uh, I will write CMD here <coughs> and uh, we'll type npm start now you have to wait for a while okay react script start and we'll automatically start the script starting the development server my machine is quite slow because uh, my original laptop is been broken down I am using prime list to laptop scheme for this you know work uh, also on that machine it's not very much you know it has low configuration but react can be done on this machine okay where it's running okay I just uh, my default browser is internet explorer I will reset it to the Chrome. Okay, when I run it, Chrome, you can see this default uh, <coughs> page of the React. Okay. Now we need to move towards the code uh, for opening the code in Visual Studio Code. We will write CMD here. Okay, and we will write code space dot. Okay, this directory will be open in the Visual Code. We do not have to separately open the Visual Studio Code and we'll open the uh, this project. For opening this project directly, you just need to go to the CMD and write code dot command. <coughs> okay, here it is. Okay, now you can see there are three folders: basically node module, public, and source. Ignore this one. These this folder is containing all the packages that are required to run this app. So we'll never ever go to this node module, okay? For right now, you are being a consider yourself as a beginner and never jump into this folder, okay? We will be concerned only to to these folders that is public. In the public, we have what? We have icon, okay? It's just an icon that was showing on the top, uh, as you can see. There is an icon, okay? This is the icon, and there is an HTML page index.html here is nothing special just an index.html page uh, is containing 
some basic uh, HTML structure and remove all the comment so it won't be look very much huge code as you can see this is the head section has section is containing all the scripts and meta tags okay not a very much new thing for anyone okay and in the body section I have only one tag that is diff and diff id suit then the question arises that if diff is not empty if there is no child element in, in that diff then what, from where this logo and all the you know this background color and this uh, anchor tag and this heading is coming from okay so we we'll discuss it don't worry and this is two logos yeah, okay in the public folder the only file which is concerned to us is index.html nothing else and this is the very main folder where we will work a lot okay here is the css folder app.css as you can see there is there are three files named app okay app.js app.css app.test the first one is just for styling app component okay this is the file where we will write all the code related to react.js okay right now i'm not in, i'm not going to tell you about this file but uh, make sure that uh, whenever whenever any changes required on the view you will actually uh, let's just as you can see there is a div app name there is a header okay in the header in the div the header is placed there is a image now you came to know that from where it is coming from it is coming from app.js and all the styles are coming from app.css and the logo is coming from there this is the logo logo.cd okay as you can see that there is learn react uh, if i remove and try learn react by salman and just save it and come to the browser and you see it has already changed learn react by Salman. you don't have to refresh the page it will automatically it will this uh, the hot server will automatically update uh, whatever you change in your code okay if you are not willing to show this image you can remove this also i just remove for your understanding excuse me maybe that's fun okay we can do anything we can uh, add a new h1 the concept academy by ideas solution and i just save it and come to the browser back and see okay very much fine okay right now we are just understanding the folder structure and here it is another file app.test.js uh, here we'll write the test states related to this uh, app.component we'll write the unit test and now we have two files related to index this index this is for the styling and this is the main file actually we are importing the react react dom uh, react libraries and index.css for styling and as you can see we are importing app everything we have placed in the app and now we are importing the app in this file and we are rendering app where we are rendering it to the root document or get element by root in this in this html in this step we are rendering all the thing that is wrapped into this app we'll make some more uh, components and we'll discuss it in the future very detail Okay, don't worry i think uh, some of you were confused but don't get confused we will make it easy in the future okay thank you for watching thank you a lot and subscribe to my channel please